Today we're making Chinese folded fried egg, my favorite version of the common fried egg. This is an easy home cooked dish that can be made in just a few minutes for any meal of the day. To start, my dad will give us some pro tips for preparation before we even begin cooking. He recommends leaving eggs at room temperature for at least 30 minutes before cooking. Now, he'll explain why. Another advantage of cracking eggs into a bowl first is that it lets you gently place the egg into your wok or pan exactly where you want it. Today, my dad will teach you two variations of the fried egg, starting with what my dad calls the round fried egg. We'll heat the wok on high for about a minute. We'll add about two tablespoons of oil to the wok. We'll crack an egg into a bowl. How do you keep the egg round? Once the egg whites start to set and the edges are browning, or after about 30 seconds for us, we can flip the egg by slipping the spatula under half of the egg, then flicking up quickly. The cooking time after flipping will depend on your stove and how well done you want the yolk. After flipping and cooking for 40 to 50 seconds, my dad puts the egg on the side of the wok here because it lets the egg continue cooking much slower and it also allows the excess oil to drain before taking the egg out. It also saves us time because we can start the next egg. Traditionally, is it runny in the middle or cooked all the way through? For a runnier yolk, don't continue cooking it on the side and just take it out. These first ones are very similar to over easy or over medium eggs with crispier edges. 
The other version my dad calls folded eggs. In Cantonese, Ho Bao Dan is commonly translated as purse egg, describing the way that the egg whites fold over the unbroken yolk. This resembles the traditional Ho Bao, a pouch or small bag that was used to carry everyday items, also seen as a token of love. The character Ho can also refer to lotus and how an egg resembles a lotus flower when it's cooked in the oil. The purse egg is unique in that the cooked egg whites form a sort of pouch around the less well done yolk in the middle, creating a thicker egg with more variety and texture compared to a traditional over easy or over medium egg. Now let's see how to make it. We'll start off the same way, placing the egg in the oil. You can choose to salt the egg now or later when you serve it. Now, at the same point we would normally flip it, we're just going to fold over half of the egg onto itself. The yolk is broken here, but my dad doesn't mind. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Now we're going to flip the folded egg after it's slightly browned or after 30 to 40 seconds. As a general rule for both versions, we want to start with heating the oil on high, then lower the heat right before you put in the egg. For a crispier outside, we'll cook on higher heat for a shorter amount of time. To cook the inside more, lower the heat and cook for longer. We'll do the same side of the wok cooking method while we add our next egg. We'll also season this one with a pinch of salt. What is the difference in cooking time between like having it more well done and having it more runny? Fried egg is not a difficult dish at all, but it's an excellent dish to develop your cooking intuition. As my dad mentioned, it's not enough to only rely on exact cooking times, as everyone's equipment, ingredients, and preferences are different. Instead, you have to pay attention while cooking and adjust your methods if needed. Even if it's not perfect, you'll at least have gained experience to do it better next time. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right.